guys, Alex here with another video today. Um, so in my previous Master Replica unboxing video, I said I have purchased the Attack of the Clones Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, it took a long time for it to get here, but it arrived safe and sound. Still haven't opened it yet, but the reason why I took a little while to do this unboxing video was because this particular model that does not come with a case unfortunately uh, nor a plaque stand um, back at the time when Master Replica sold the Attack of the Clones Obi-Wan Kenobi the case was an option to buy it didn't it wasn't just uh, sent with it until later models so you know kind of sucks but on the bright side though the reason why this video took a little while was because there is a guy on eBay who actually makes his own lightsaber cases. And voila, I will leave a link to his eBay store in the description below because he does incredible work. He makes this, he makes these by hand and he did an incredible, awesome job with it. So now that we got a stand uh, for the master replica, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and we got our plaque stand for the plaque as well. We can finally unbox this 17 year old masterpiece. So let's begin. Here's my little Siamese cat, Nyla. Say hi to the camera, Nyla. <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> well, we. Okay, so the. The uh, case came out off the sleeve, but anyways, so, um, so just like before, um, says uh, the official Star Wars website, blah blah blah. That uh, join the Star Wars fan club. Um, Master replicas make beautiful cases, as far as I've seen so far. So, okay, guys, Obi Wan Kenobi. Now that is beautiful. Look at that. So it comes with a cover tech for your belt clip. Man. Whoops. There it is, everyone. Obi-Wan's from Attack of the Clones. Put it back in the display case. Got a little cloth. It's from the same uh, collector that I bought the other two props from. So uh, he just... He has taken great care of them, you know, so they're just like new.
Here we have the Master Replicas envelope, which should contain the plaque and the certificate of authenticity. So, so it comes with this little nice booklet here. Uh, these were all the Force Effects sabers and the Master Replica props that were available. So we have Anakin, Count Dooku, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Yoda's. And I think Mace's came out the year after, um, if I'm not mistaken. And on the back side, we have Luke Skywalker's, and we have Han Solo's blaster. Um, the display case back when it was an option, so 2002. So pretty um, high-quality stuff here. Um, stuff... Um, it, you know, so I really hope that Master Replicas is now back in business. So I'm hoping that one day they'll get the uh, license and they can start doing the stuff again because they, they've done incredible work, you know. Okay, so we have the, uh, okay, this one's a little bit different. So we have the certificate of authenticity. So you have the history of the prop uh, from episode two. Certificate as well. You know. So here we got the plaque, which has never been opened. Try to autofocus the camera here so we can see it. So it's 1118 out of 2500. Oops. So we got the plaque stand as well for it. And these stands are pretty cool. Uh, you just clip them in so you don't have to use any glue or anything. It just pops right in there, so. Okay guys, now let's put the lightsaber onto the stand. So I'm just trying to think what way I should I think I'll place it this way, why not? Or I think it goes well, it might go this way actually. There we go. All right, let's try to get you guys a couple more shots.
Here we go. <laughs> and there it is. Um, yeah, I, I'm telling you, um, it was amazing. Well, I mean, not a lot of people would think that, that, but, but for me to be able to get Anakin's and Obi-Wan's from Attack of the Clones, practically brand new, is a very rare opportunity uh, indeed. But the market is pretty surprising, right? You know, Star Wars collectibles. And uh, I hope the future for Star Wars will will be more bright um, because, you know, it was not good with the sequel trilogy. Um, but I have a pretty good feeling, though, that I think things will turn around for the franchise, and I really hope so uh, for the better. Um, I prefer the Revenge of the Sith um, props to the Attack of the Clones, uh, Obi-Wan Anakin's in particular. Uh, they are really expensive, even though they are more common. Um, but eventually, hopefully, I'll be able to get them uh, in my collection soon. So um, I'm not just getting the prequels, guys. Uh, the original trilogy all the way. Uh, it just depends on what deals I get, right? So uh, that's what I mean, right? So um, best bang for the buck. So if someone has uh, a master replicas uh, lightsaber prop that gives me a really good deal on it, it's just hard for me to say no. So anyways, there will be more coming. I'm not sure when, um, but stay tuned because I plan to collect most of them uh, and do unboxing videos on YouTube because it's it's a rare. No, not many people on YouTube have done it. Have done a master replica unboxing series, so I'm pretty much the first to do it. At least having a, a series going on forward. So I mean, there are some unboxing videos, but people I usually only see unbox only like one or two at three at the most. So I'm at three now, and there'll definitely be a fourth one. I'm not sure when, but you know, we'll see. All depends on the deals. All right, guys. Thank you for watching, and subscribe, comment, and yeah, take care.